Dit is Papa Alfa Nul Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 9 juli 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. Today's bulletin will be in English, but we do have a short message in Dutch right at the start. This bulletin has both Morse code and SSTV in PD50. Gisteren had ik helemaal aan het eind van de uitzending nog snel een kort nieuwsbericht dat bij een aantal mensen om die reden misschien niet is overgekomen. Vandaar dat ik het hier nog een keer herhaal. Het bericht ging over de nieuwe middengolfvergunningen. AT maakt bekend dat er tot nu toe in totaal 45 belangstellenden waren voor een omroepvergunning met laag vermogen op de middengolf. Bij 20 hiervan is de vergunning inmiddels verleend. Bij deze verleningen gaat het om 14 vergunningen voor 100 watt en 6 stuks voor een 1 watt vergunning die ook wel hobbyvergunning wordt genoemd. Alle 1 watt vergunningen zitten overigens op de frequentie van 1485 kHz. De plaatsen waar de zenders in de lucht komen zijn voor een deel nog niet bekend, maar dat zal ongetwijfeld binnenkort wel het geval zijn. Uit het bericht blijkt ook dat er nog geen evenementenvergunningen voor de middengolf zijn aangevraagd. And now we will continue with the propagation news of the RSGB in the TX Talk version. Hello, this is Bob McCready, GK0, FGX, with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. And now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf Zero, Kilowatt Yankee Alpha, Golf 3, Yankee Lima Alpha, and Golf 4, Bravo Alpha Oscar, on Friday the 8th of July. They got the forecast for last weekend about right. Plasma from a coronal hole hit the Earth late on Saturday, pushing the K index to 4. The solar flux index, however, has remained doggedly in the 70s. DX has been possible on HF, though. After a request for information last week, Peter, Mike Zero, Romeo, Yankee, Bravo, said he was pleased to work Tango, Romeo 3, Sierra, Alpha, in Gabon on 20 metres on Saturday at 18.24 Zulu. He also worked a station in Brazil on 20 metres. This week should see the solar flux index remain in the mid-70s as the only visible sunspot on the solar surface rotates away to the southeast. A small coronal hole on the sun's equator is rotating into a geo-effective position about now, which may mean a geomagnetic storm could hit early next week, perhaps Monday or Tuesday. This may see the K-index rise to 4 with the corresponding noisy bands, lower maximum usable frequencies and poor polar paths. Sporadic E continues to give some respite on the higher HF bands but outside of this, the maximum usable frequency over a 3,000 km path is struggling to hit 18 MHz, with 14 MHz being more reliable. The Chiltern Digison suggests 20 meters may remain open through the night at times, but 10 MHz may be a better option. And finally, the VHF and up propagation news. It looks like another week with low pressure rather than high pressure on the charts, and this will again suggest that there could be some rain scatter options for the gigahertz bands. The latter part of the week does hint that a ridge of high pressure temporarily close to southern Britain could offer a small chance of some weak tropo into northern France. There should still be some sporadic E to liven things up, and since we are seeing such unsettled weather continuing, it suggests that jet stream activity will be on offer again. This is good since these are the sources of the gravity waves or turbulence that can propagate upwards to the E region to help form sporadic E. Most of the time, the main jet stream zone will be across the Atlantic into the UK and Northern Europe, which favours paths to the Baltic, Poland or Scandinavia, with a later in the day option to North America. The moon's declination goes negative on Sunday the 10th with consequent shorter moon windows from early afternoon to late evening. Losses are high with apogee occurring on Tuesday. And that's all for this week from the propagation team. This weekend, the station Golf Romeo 2 Hotel Quebec will be active in the IARU HF Championship from 1200 UTC on the 9th until 1200 UTC on the 10th, providing the RSGB HQ multiplier for the UK. This will probably be the last time Ofcom issues the Golf Romeo prefix, so they hope to work as many stations as possible. A tip to find the other slots is to locate the 80 meter SSB station and ask them the frequencies of the other bands and modes. More details about the organisation and setup is available in the July 2016 edition of Radcom. And if you're interested in getting involved next year, contact Mike, Golf 7, Tango, Whiskey, Charlie. Fred Lloyd, Alpha Alpha 7 Bravo Quebec, president and founder of QRZ.com, is visiting London on the 15th of July. He will be the guest speaker at Havering and District ARC, held at the Springhouse Club, Springhouse Road, Corringham, Stanford Le Hope. And the postcode for that is Sierra Sierra 177 Quebec Tango. The talk will begin at 7.30 sharp, so please arrive early. And if you want more details, you can contact Golf 4 Hotel Romeo Charlie at haveringradioclub.co.uk or look at the club's website which is haveringradioclub.co.uk 
A new distance record was set on 47 gigahertz between Whiteface Mountain in New York at Fox November 34 Bravo India and Mont Tremblant in Quebec at Fox November 26 Romeo Foxtrot. The distance was calculated at 215 kilometers, that's 133.3 miles, which is a new US Canada record on the band. Congratulations to November 1 Juliet Echo Zulu and Kilowatt Tango 1 Juliet, Victor Echo 2 Uniform Golf and Victor Echo 3 Foxtrot November. The number of instances of interference from VDSL has increased over the last couple of years in the UK, and to help amateurs detect such interference, the RSGB has drawn up a leaflet, the 15th in a series of EMC leaflets that the RSGB EMC committee has produced. The leaflet has been uploaded to IARU-R1.org, that's IARU-R1.org, by G4 Juliet Kilowatt Sierra, and is freely available to all. Just search the site for VDSL. The annual Night of Nights event starts at 0001 UTC on the 13th of July. In this event, historic maritime CW stations such as Kilowatt Papa Hotel, Whiskey Lee Moroska and Coast Guard stations such as November Mike Charlie return from the dead for a few hours. It's sponsored by the Maritime Radio Historical Society based in the USA. Two amateur stations, Kilowatt 6, Kilowatt Papa Hotel and Whiskey 4, Whiskey Lima Oscar will also be on the air using CW. QSLs will be available for working various stations and for more details, put Maritime Radio Historical Society into your favourite search engine. That is Maritime Radio Historical Society. The National Ham Fest takes place at the Newark Showground in Nottinghamshire on the 30th of September and 1st of October. This year there's going to be several international attendees including Lusso Towers, Mastrant Guying Ropes, Powertech Computers and Takadi with his Pole and Rope Solutions. Several of the UK exhibitors have even increased their stand sizes to accommodate their ever-increasing product lines. For advanced entrance tickets that give you fast-track entry to the event or flea market bookings and club stand requests, please visit National Ham Fest dot org dot uk national hamfest dot org dot uk in an Andorran government resolution dated the 16th of June, Andorra returns to 60 metres with the allocation of 5351.5 to 5366.5 kilohertz with a maximum power of 15 watts EIRP. CW and USB is permitted with a maximum bandwidth of 5 kilohertz. There is also a new 4 metre allocation of 70.0 to 70.2 megahertz on a non-interference basis with a maximum power of 10 watts. All modes are permitted and users must abide by the IARU Region 1 ban plan. Finally, a power increase has been granted on 6 metres, now up to a maximum of 600 watts. Churches and chapels on the air will take place on Saturday the 10th of September, so if you or your club intend to put a station on, please register that station with John, Golf 3, X-Ray Yankee Foxtrot by email to g3xyf at btconnect.com. g3xyf at btconnect.com. A full list of registered participants can be found at wacral.org forward slash, and this is in capitals, the next bit, chota dot htm so that's wacral.org forward slash in capital chota dot htm
Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartje xdv.me. Tingelingeling. Wie is daar? De zendamateur. Vandaag niets nodig. Ook geen morse QSO? Nee, vandaag dus niks. Jammer.